Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Guilds has been researched. Time to choose a new civic. Uh, of course, we've got mysticism available to us, but we don't really care about that now, do we? No, we don't. We're going to skip right past mysticism. We're going to go to civil engineering, which if I built seven different specialty districts, I can get a boost, but I'm not going to worry about that. What is it going to give me? Plus 30% production towards builders. And newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. With what I already have, that'll be seven build actions, which is pretty huge, actually, if I wanted to use that policy. Okay, and we can actually assign some envoys. There we go, and I believe that that just made me the suzerain. Hot damn, it did. Okay, good. Buenos Aires is now on our side. That'll help us a little bit against the war with Sumeria. And here we go. Sumeria is actually moving into Aleppo now. Can I buy walls? I have plenty of money. Let's see. I can't purchase walls. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch production. There we go. Switch it up to ancient walls here, and let's start moving in our legions. All right, start moving in all of the stuff that we have available to us. Let's see, I've got another crossbowman here that can start moving up. Luckily, his units still seem pretty outdated and outmoded. Okay, and we can... Ooh, we can just take your encampment? Thank you. Thank you for just giving me that encampment. That was very kind of you. Still searching for Niter. I really can't believe I haven't found Niter yet. I am honored to extend my friendship? Wow. I've actually got a friend. This is unprecedented. Never before has this happened in Civilization VI. I have never made a friend. Wow. Not to mention... Wow, he really likes me. I, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted right now. A little awestruck. Okay, Dmitry Mendelev has been born, and that's going to trigger Eureka moments for chemistry and one random tech from the industrial era. I'm going to definitely take advantage of that. Okay, and it looks like your horseman is now up in my stuff, so I'm going to send my legion up towards you. Also, I'm going to move you into range. I can fire. This legion is also available. I'm going to move you down. What I'm afraid is that he's going to start slaughtering all of my trade routes, which is very possible. Nay, very likely. Here we go. I'm just going to start killing all of your apostles and stuff, okay? That's what you get. And I don't want to build any new units until I find Niter, damn it. Let's see if I can't find any. Oh, really? You've got a missionary? We're friends and everything, but you got a missionary right on my campus. I really need you to move that so that I can take advantage of my great person, okay? So, if you can move him, I would appreciate it. We'll see what happens next turn. This island is kind of adorable. It's got just spice, just a little five-tile island with some spice on it. I'm going to call it Spice Island. It's Spice Island. Uh, okay, good, you moved. You heard my pleas and you moved for me. There we go. Got a nice eureka moment there. And Rome, you need some stuff now. I could build a coliseum if I wanted to, but like I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to build it here. I'm going to build a trader, though. Because we have one more trade slot. And Aretium. What are you going to build here? Hmm. Going to build medieval walls. With war being declared, we can use all the defense we can get. Okay. Uh, he's actually not attacking too hard on us. He's actually kind of pussyfooting around. So, I'm going to let him. That's fine. Oh! November Zinga. He's gonna hate me because I don't have a religion to give him. So, uh, sorry, dude. We aren't gonna get along, I can tell already. This guy's the hardest dude to please in the game. I'm gonna give him, like, two turns before he denounces me for not giving him religion. We'll see. Okay, I'm in the industrial Let's era now. Get on our knees and Ballistics pray. is researched. I can go scientific theory, which has been boosted. That's going to require me to get astronomy first, which is fine, because that's been boosted as well. So there we go. And, okay, my units. Fire. Good. And Aleppo's only got two more turns until it's got its walls. And these are only ancient walls. I'm going to need to build the next class of walls and the next class after that, so it's going to take a little bit of time. But it's a start. I'll be able to start bombarding. They found a new city-state of Amsterdam down there. And, oh, it looks like we're going to find some land over here. Okay, what is this? What is this? Dude, just, just stay put.
Oh, uh, Ur's firing on Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is helping us out. Okay, you want coffee? You want to give me chocolate? Yeah, let's do it. I will take all the luxury resources I can. Look at this. Buenos Aires is joining the fight. I love it. They have Niter. Oh, their Niter should be my Niter now, right? Now that I'm allied with them. Don't I have access to their Niter? I believe I do. I believe I do. Let's take out their pikemen. And this crosswoman should be able to fire at this pikeman. Yep, indeedy, he can. I'm gonna move this legion up one spot. And then I've got a crossbowman here who can finish off this pikeman, I believe. Wait, did you already fire? I guess you already fired. My memory's getting pretty short. Okay, um, I'm at 89.3 science per turn right now. That university's gonna help me out even more. And, okay, let's find out what's on this land. Come on. Okay, we found, ooh. Found a village. Let's see if we can find any Niter now. Okay, Cairo. Bombard. A scout. That scout is out of place. You are in the wrong place there, scout. It's time to wake up Gustavus Adolphus. I'm going to rebase him first, though. I'm going to rebase him in candy. Then I'm going to wake him up because this city of Akshak is pretty easy pickings right here. Uh, I don't want to keep it, but I do want to destroy it. I want to wipe it off the face of the earth. So I'm going to start sending some units up its way. And I can actually upgrade this archer into a field cannon. I can upgrade all my archers, actually, into field cannons, which I should start doing. I don't want to do it just yet, though. I want to save my money. I don't want to make rash purchases. I want to make smart purchases. Okay, Cairo can finally build its Colosseum. If I build it here, like I said, all three cities are going to get access to its bonuses. So that's exactly where I'm going to build it. Okay, Legion's going to move up here. And... All right. This crossbowman is going to start to move in this way. Okay, we're defending Aleppo's borders pretty well. Because it doesn't seem like he's coming at me too hard. I'm going to roll up here with... A couple of... Uh, catapults. And a bombard. And that should... Start to put the hurt on that city of Akshak. Uh-oh. I've just run into a pikeman, which could be trouble. And again, I cannot believe I haven't found Niter anywhere. Not one source of Niter yet. I've lost a scout. Tragically. Ooh, but there's an encampment right there. Wide open. Let's see if we can steal that. Okay, Ur. I'm gonna try to take out Akshak. Then we're gonna try to take out Ur. Okay, Akshak. Ridiculous name for a city. Akshak. That actually did a fair amount of damage. A surprisingly large amount of damage. Uh, Ur, I want to take you next. So, let's go ahead and upgrade these crossbowmen. There we go. And I still got a little bit of money, too. I can actually purchase. Yeah, I say let's do it. Let's purchase some units. Purchase the field cannon there. And... Move our legions down here. We're gonna need them to take the cities. See if they can. Oh, you wanna make peace with me? Wow, that was really quick. <laughs> and he asked if I'm mad. And I think he means that in like a, are you crazy sense? But I like to interpret it as a, are you mad at me? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I am quite upset at you. You, you dingus. Okay, while well, Akshak is still wallless. I'm going to just lay down some heavy fire on him. And... Oh, I actually have a catapult here that I can put into service. And I'm going to bring a legion down here, too, because I'm going to need a legion in order to take that city. Okay, now that Ur is vulnerable as well, I'm going to start moving in my field cannons. Try to take it out. Okay, field cannons are doing pretty good damage, and I've got this field cannon as well, of course. There we go. Let's see how he counters against my cannons. Okay, how much damage does his city do to my cannons? Ooh, just under half of its health. It's a little concerning, but I think it'll I think we should be able to get by. We should be able to survive. I see your like-minded individual and must commend you on your government practices. Wow, it seems like everybody has Merchant Republic. Okay, if I can take Ur and Akshak, that'll be a really good turn of events to this little war that's been started. 
Okay, I'm gonna put you right here. And what is this here? What are you building? Kind of curious. Curious to know. What you've got planned there, buddy. Okay, let's move our Legion right here. Best case scenario, they fire at the Legion. Worst case scenario, they fire at this cannon. And it almost dies, but not quite. Akshak is going down, man. It is not looking too hot. And I actually ended up taking that encampment. Whoa! Whoa! Where did this AT crew come from? It's almost dead. Okay, Akshak's mine. Oh yeah, Akshak's mine. Yo, um, I need to take out this AT crew and I need to heal you up. I'm gonna pull you back. Oh, we've got that scout still milling about out Aleppo. Get out of here, scout. A silly, silly scout. Okay, er, it looks like they upgraded their walls, too. Their defenses are quite a bit stronger now. Okay, um... Whew. Let's keep on bombarding. And once I take Akshak, I can move these guys up here to help the fight. That's the second time he's asked for peace. The second time. He must be getting nervous. And he took a shot at my Legion, which is the best case scenario there. I'm glad that he attacked my Legion. Okay, and he actually moved his AT crew to the Akshak, which theory. is the dumbest thing he could have done. I am surprised that he made that really poor decision. I'm gonna start moving this Bombard up. Move my Legion right here. Okay, cannon, go ahead and cannon this guy. And that's gonna drop Akshak down to just about nothing. All right. I'm going to catapult you, which hopefully will take you out. And actually, if Buenos Aires attacks Akshak, that'll actually be pretty great. If they take Akshak, I'm going to be stoked. Please, please take Akshak. Oh, that would be like the perfect case scenario. That way I don't have to take the city and then raise it and then take that huge penalty from doing so. And then Buenos Aires borders are just going to grow. Our ties are going to strengthen. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. Yes, he took one more shot. He's still alive. He's still healthy and happy. And oh my god, somebody just stole chemistry from me. Okay, I need to get my hands on some spies. Come on, Rick. You gotta get those spies, man. Uh, let's move you up here. And oh, my legion could take this. It's gonna take Akshak. Unfortunately, Buenos Aires didn't. I don't know why. I really wish they would have. Okay, now I've got to burn this place to the ground. Great. We go. Are we going to keep the city? No, we're going to raise it triple. This is going to be an egregious penalty. Oh, man. And Japan and Russia like me. But I mean, either way, it's going to be a heavy or an egregious penalty. They're going to hate me either way. I'm going to raise it. Okay. This is the part in the game where everybody turns on me. And everybody begins to hate me. It's going to happen. Pull our legion back so we can start healing up. And all right. Um, good. That AT crew died when we took Akshak down. So don't have to worry about that anymore. And we're going to heal you up. And okay. That's that. My scout's still alive over here outside of Brussels. You attacked the catapult. Perfect. I'm, I'm so glad you did, but it makes no sense to me that you would attack the catapult. You should attack the bombard or something. Catapult's the weakest. If you owe the bank 100 okay, bank has been researched. Let's get our money on. Okay, and let's also get our steel on? Yeah, we can get uh, some artillery. That would be pretty awesome. What we need to do, though, in order to get that is... Oh, nothing. Ballistics is research. That's the only thing that we need to do. That's the only prerequisite. There we go. Once we get artillery, that'll be a huge game changer. Okay, the assault continues. And if they kill this catapult, I'm not going to cry about it. This catapult is literally cannon fodder at this point. Um, 
What I could do, though, is pull it back, keep it alive for one more round, because these walls are going to fall. I keep it around as cannon fodder for one more turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's keep that cannon fodder alive. And unit needs orders. Okay. Looks like you're going to heal up, friend. And my cannon... Oh, can move right into Ur. Sweet. Sweet. And they fired at the other cannon. Or catapult. Okay, you want to make peace again? You're giving me all sorts of stuff. You really want to make peace. Oh, man. You're giving me coal? Give me niter. That's what I need. You're not even offering me niter. Have you not worked? You haven't even worked the niter. That's insane to me. You have niter in your borders and it's unworked. Oh, goodness. This niter is also unworked. I should send a builder in there. I, I should be able to work it, right, for them? If uh, I've got a builder? Oh, I need to do that. I think if I work it, possibly, I'll be able to actually have access to it. Okay, now Ur is starting to fall. Oh, they've got a horseman right here. That I need to take out. Let's go ahead and fire at it. There we go. Clear out that horseman. And, of course, we've got a catapult, which I'm actually going to move right here, again, as cannon fodder. You are a foolish, simple leader, and your people should know the truth denounces you. Here it is. Consequence of uh, raising Akshak. Saladin comes along as well. He's already hated me because I, you know, went to war with him earlier. Whatever. Yeah, this is what really gets me. I feel like there should be a way lessened penalty for war if war is declared on you. Because this war was declared on me. It was thrust upon me. I didn't want this war. I mean, I did. I did want this war. I I'm lying there. Totally wanted this war. But, uh, it's not my fault, is my point. Let's go ahead and get a bank going here. But speaking of war, I am going to need to end my war soon-ish. Or else I'm going to really start to suffer from some war fatigue. Okay, um, I can get 100% campus district adjacency bonuses. Let's do that. I want to increase my intelligence as much as possible. Alright, we've got an AT crew moving in. I'm going to leave this guy here. As fodder for that AT crew. Actually, no. He can't even hit this guy if I move him backwards. He's still, like, two turns away from being able to this. So I'll keep him alive a little bit longer. It looks like Ur is falling pretty quickly. I'm thinking, let's take Ur. Then let's find out what city is over here. Possibly take that city. And then we can call it an episode. And end the war for now. And then move on to the next war. Next episode. And the next war that we're going to have... Ooh, he actually did take out that catapult. The next war that we're going to have is going to have to be against uh, Saladin, I think. Again. What? You've got walls back? Come on. Okay, we need to take out this AT group first. Hey, we finally found that niter. I mean, it's pointless now, and I'm not going to go settle over by Congo to get it, but we found that niter. And, oh, no. Okay. You want to make peace? Uh, okay, I want you to seed Ur to me, okay? Give me Ur. Come on. Come on. Make this deal more equitable, then. All right. Then I'm not going to be able to do it, all right? Not until Ur falls. And we have ideological differences, but that's too bad. You already hate me. I don't care. You're mad at me about my ideological differences. Hey, and we just found Spain. Hello, Spain. Good to meet you. It's going to be very nice to have you hate me in about five turns. All right, all right, all right. Here it goes. This is the part where we take Ur. And what am I going to take it with? Am I going to take it with this legion or this one? I'm going to use this legion because I should be able to take it. Let's see. I shouldn't be able to kill this legion. We should be able just to go in there and chop them all to bits. Oh, no! He did it! Surprisingly. All right, that's fine. Last one legion. There we go. That legion finished the job. All right. That was hubris on my part a little bit. Good job, Ur. Glad to have you as part of the Great Roman Empire now. And so let's keep on moving up here to the northwest. Find out what lies in this area. And then we'll go ahead and make a peace 
with these guys. Okay, let's go ahead and heal you up. We've got a couple more cannons joining the fight. Which is going to make things a bit easier for us. You are another Judas. Come to betray the Lord. What did I tell you? Didn't I say that this guy would be denouncing us in like five turns? There it is. And hey, guess what? We killed a Japanese spy. Dumb, dumb Japanese spies. You can't steal my technologies. Uh, okay, we've got... This guy in range. Take you out. And... Start moving up. Nice and slow. Nice and uniformly. Just start moving into position. Here we go. And this bombard right up here. Okay, let's let the AT crews move into our range. We'll let them do the work for us. Instead of us bringing the fight to them, they're going to bring the fight to us. And we're going to take them out. Starting to creep our way up the map now. And also, I love that Buenos Aires is on our side because it's actually helping us out quite a bit. They're going to be busy trying to attack Buenos Aires. Little deflection for me. Okay, here we go. We are in their borders now. And they've actually got a pikeman. Some later era, or earlier era units, which I'm hoping is an indication that their forces are becoming depleted. I love it! I love that they're fighting Buenos Aires! Man! I said it earlier in the game that I wanted to make sure that I was suzerain of Buenos Aires, and this is exactly the reason. They share borders with Sumeria, and it's helping me considerably. Okay, colonialism has unlocked three civics. But who is going Press to spread gang. it among the colonizers? Colonial taxes, 25% gold in cities not on your original continent. And Raj, plus one, two science, plus culture, plus faith, and plus gold from each city-state you're suzerain of. I'm only suzerain of one city-state at the moment, but that could come in handy. Time for a new civic, and I'm going to go with urbanization. There we go. I've got to research a few civics in order to get that, but that one's boosted. So I'm looking forward to getting that. And, okay, we're going to have you go over here, do some work. Okay, you're at negative one amenities. That's okay. Don't want to let our unhappiness get out of control, though. We want to keep that in check. We do have a commercial hub available to us, and we should probably take advantage of that. If I could build right here... Let's see. Can I purchase that tile? Let's see. There we go. Purchase that tile, and I should be able to build that there. Let's see. Commercial. There we go. We've got those adjacency bonuses that are pretty sweet. Okay, Buenos Aires, we are suzerain. Uh, let's become suzerain of Villainous next if we can. Currently, Arabia is suzerain. Let's see if we can steal it from them. Je suis Catherine, and we found France. De France! Okay. Another civilization to hate us. Cool, cool. Gotta discover the city here. There we go. Iradu is the city. Get all of our units into position. And I love this buffer zone that Buenos Aires has given us. It's very helpful. Okay, I can actually lay shots into Iradu. Oh my god, that did like no damage. Holy crap, okay. That's a, that's a concern. That's one tough city. Alright, with my artillery in range now, I should be able to do a bit more damage to this city. Oh yes. Oh god, if only I had a few more artilleries. And I will next time I go to war. But right now we're working with what we got. And what we got is, for the most part, field cannons. Yeah, I'm gonna move you right over here and move this field cannon there. There we go. I've got a ton of cannons in range now. So despite the fact that I'm not doing a ton of damage to their defenses, this is kind of a war of attrition. Just who can outlast who? And I believe that I'm the one who can outlast him. Okay, uh, you're gonna build a farm up here. We've still got builders that need jobs. Like this guy. You can go ahead and build that lumber mill. Okay, he's laying into my legion now, and I'm gonna want to keep this legion alive. Because right now, it's the only unit I have that can actually capture the city. So I'll need to back him up in order to keep him alive. Have I mentioned how glad I am that Buenos Aires is on our side? Holy crap. That is really the key to victory right now, is keeping Buenos Aires on our side. 
Okay, all that's left now is for my artillery to take a shot. Hopefully this will finish off their defenses. Come on. Oh, it's still hanging in there. Okay, in that case, I'm going to bring in this cannon. See if it can do the job. It probably can't, but let's see. Oh, so close. So very, very close. Okay, they've got one more shot on me. Let's pair the arena in Aleppo, and you're just going to keep on healing up there, buddy. Your job is almost done. Got a farm to be built. Actually, no, I, I'm going to do better than a farm over there. I'm going to build a mine over there, and... Okay, we've got another Great Wonder built and a field cannon that has a promotion. I'm going to hold off on that promotion because I want to be able to attack. Okay, there's no way Iridu can survive past this turn. If it does, I'm going to be astonished. All I'm hoping is that my Legion has enough health to actually capture the city, and I do believe he does. There we go, because I have whittled this city down to nothing. And, whew, it's going to be very... Okay, I... Oh, God. I'm afraid to take it. I'm afraid to take it. I'm afraid that my Legion is going to lose. Okay, now he wants to make peace. He's offering quite a bit. Oh, he, wow. He's going to give me two cities. <laughs> yes, this is this is bad. This is better than I expected. Okay, great. Yes, absolutely. He's gonna give me Nippur and Iridu. Wow, that was unexpected. That couldn't have worked out any better. Holy crap! Why did it kick me out of the borders? That's very strange. All these were gifted to me, and then it kicked me out of my own borders. I was a bit confused there. I was like, oh my god, did I just seed these cities? But no, okay, they are mine. They are definitely mine. All right, well, that's where I'm going to have to wrap up this episode, guys. My war with uh, Gilgamesh gone way better than planned. Okay, so for my next war, I'm probably going to just finish off uh, Saladin here. I think Holmes and Mecca, I just march in, wipe those out. That should be pretty easy. But I'm also going to take a little bit of time to build up myself, lick my wounds, and also build up some artillery. And then I'll just march north and just finish off Saladin and Gilgamesh as best I can. And then, of course, we've got Russia down here. I don't know where his capital's at, but we'll find out next episode, too. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you are... Be sure to give this a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I've been Rick with Something. I will see you next time.